for excellence in sports, the Gleaner Company honors the Honorable Michael Fennell, Order of Jamaica. When I first started in sports administration, I was a full-time employee, I was a full-time manager, and I did this in my spare time. Now I'm retired, I'm spending almost all my time doing this, which by the way is very enjoyable because you're doing it helping others. And certainly as a volunteer sports administrator, this is something that you have to be prepared to devote the time, in addition, of course, to the commitment that you have to make. We have, in Jamaica, been very successful in many sports with, with very limited resources. And I would put this down to the fact of you have a lot of committed people, you have a lot of volunteers, not just in coaching, but also in the support systems, the doctors, the physiotherapists, the, those who go out week after week and act as officials, they're all volunteers. And this is what has supported sport in this country in a very strong way over the years and continues to do so. Some of these volunteers now um, have to be assisted with transport because transport is very costly uh, with other things like, such as meals and etc. And the, the, there is a cost, a growing cost in this area which has to be borne. But the volunteers, I think, have been the outstanding support system that has made sport successful. Well, I can tell you, that in the immediate future, we have to do a comprehensive review of Delhi to find out, you know, what we could have done better, what are the grey areas, what we need to do in order to ensure that the next games, which will be held in Glasgow in four years' time, will not have the same difficulties. Like any other business venture, like any other event uh, um, arrangements, you do a review and you try and identify those things that you could do better. And then we have to sit down with Glasgow for 2014. I would like to continue to convince everyone in this country how important sports has been and will continue to be as a beacon of hope and, 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 and development for our young people in particular. Jamaica is experienced and has been experienced in some very difficult problems, but the shining light all the time has been the performance of our athletes on the international stage. And they continue to do this, the, the impact that they had in Delhi, despite the absence of some of our stars, was still tremendous. And Jamaica was seen there as, as quite a, in a very positive light. The other thing is that we, we're going to have to be prepared to make um, more investment in sport and our young people. I say investment because people tend to regard money spent on sport as, a, as a, an expense. But it's an investment in the future. And we need to put sport in, in, in the mainstream of investments and the use of, of available money. The government has to continue to play a leading role, but they have to expand this role because other governments in other countries have recognized the importance of sports in their social mix and the development of their people. And they need to see sport more in terms of development and not just recreational aspects of sport. And this would include the linkage with trade and industry and in particular tourism. The sports associations themselves need help because they're all volunteers, but they cannot continue without more help to be able to do the work that they have to do in a more professional manner. So, so these are some of the things that must be done if we are to continue to occupy the position of a leading sports country. This has been a 2010 Gleaner Honor Awards presentation.